So yeah, so if you could just start with a, with a short introduction to yourself, um, particularly in terms of your experience as a leader um, and your role at Hunt and Andrews Kurth. Um, Hunt and Andrews Kurth is a big law firm, international firm, thousand lawyers. And so I'm a co-practice group leader of a financial services team uh, with a woman named Erin Fonte. And I think of Erin as the Swiss Army knife of the fintech industry. We make a pretty good combination. I do a lot more strategic planning, capital raising, M&A, regulatory. We lead an 18 person team and our focus is really on the banks and the fintech players as corporate entities. And if you could just give me a, an overview of Hunt and Andrews Kurth, um, a bit of a bow of it, this operations and also how it helps its clients deal with complex legal issues. 30% about of our revenue relates to financial services. It's our biggest vert by far. The next biggest vert is retailing. We really are aimed at this sector of the economy. So we have a chamber's number one ranked listed privacy group. We're always top three in securitization of loans. We do really well. And I like to think of our little group as the, the jelly in the middle of the donut hole. And could you tell me a little bit about how you exemplify high quality customer service and has digital technology kind of altered or augmented that aspect? Yeah, when I first started practicing, the quickest turnaround you can have was really Federal Express. And there were nights where I was driving to the airport to make the nine o'clock PM Federal Express deadline. And obviously the pace of change, the pace of technology, the pace of responsiveness has differed greatly. Um, we try to be as close to 24 seven as possible. In fact, we have engagements that are referred to as our 24 seven engagements, where we have a specific engagement letter that covers all these various out aspects of financial services that we try to respond to, ideally within an hour if possible. Well, awesome. And could you tell me a little bit about your relationship with, with Quantic Bank and expand on the services that you offer them and the benefits that they gain from working with you? So Patrick Sells is my brother from another mother. Um, he is absolutely friend and family. He is very challenging. He is one of the more creative people that I've ever met. Um, he's an idea machine. And so normally there are people out there that have 10 ideas. And you think, well, eight ideas are absolute crap. One idea maybe is borderline. And then the one, the last one, the 10th one may be inspired. With Patrick, nine of them are inspired. One of them may be borderline. And so a lot of what I have helped him do is try to channel um, the most actionable idea first because this is a world of limited or finite resources. And how would you characterize that partnership? For you, is it important to, to have that close level of collaboration? What is really most uh, enjoyable about it is how it's at the cutting edge. He makes me think about what the future ought to be and how to help them get to it. It's really envisioning um, where we need to go, whether it's in crypto or digital banking or what have you. And so it's helping him really craft that vision into actionable steps. And what do you see as the trends that will be key to your future development? Um, and how do you think that those could contribute to your relationship with Quantic Bank? So there are two main trend lines we're seeing in financial services. One is digital banking, which was, we thought, moving really quickly way back in 2019, and it has exploded in 2020. And so um, Patrick is um, near the forefront, if not at the forefront, certainly from a community banking standpoint, he's pretty close to the forefront of that digital transformation or that true digital approach to banking. If you've got a brand with recognition out there, then you've thought about how to do digital banking and embedding it in what you deliver 
because it's additional profit without adding new customers. So you're just peeling the onion and selling more services to your existing client base. It used to be that you had an idea for a new financial service product. You called Oracle and you got a bunch of servers and you were starting to um, have code and get regulatory approvals and uh, spend a lot of money on servers and whatnot. Well, now the first dollar that you spend can be on the product because you can use these financial institutions that have licenses um, that are willing to provide banking as a service. And again, Quantic is right in the mix of considering these issues and uh, implementing them in creative ways. And Patrick Sells is um, the chief innovation officer, but he's really thinking through how to offer these services differently to stand out in a competitive marketplace.